come on, come on, come on, hell yeah, no, to the no, 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 hell yeah, to the no, hell yeah, to the no, to the no, 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 listen. Hello fellow tinkers, welcome to Scrap Heap Industries, new YouTube channel, been building stuff for years and years and years and decades and decided to finally share it with the world. Anyway, today we are going to teach you how to take this Anaconda cable down to a manageable size. What you have here is the control center for a mostly printed P, uh, CNC machine. Um, it's 3D printed, designed by me. It's available on Thingiverse, the link will be in the description below if you're interested or if you're building a mostly printed CNC machine. I have to get power from the Raspberry Pi to the MKS Gen L board. It's a right angle connector, the shortest one I could find was on Amazon and it was three feet long and it's just obnoxious when I only need to go from here to here. I don't need all this. That's what she said. Anyway, I'm going to take it to you step by step. First, I'm going to introduce you to the tools. Tools you'll need, maybe need, don't really need, nice to have. Fancy wire stripper, very cool tool, especially when you're working on small wires. Uh, small multimeter. Trusty soldering iron, I've had that for almost 20 years. Need a new tip, but it still works with all I care about. Flux pen, very important. Essential when you do soldering work. Um, this is not so cheap, but it is an excellent tool. Double-handed, it works, it's great. Love this thing. Wire stripper, wire cutter, crimper, whatnot. Some cheap solder there, whatever. And this, my pride and joy, heat shrink tube, uh, heat gun, whatever you want to call it. Very cool, boys one one finally bought one. That is for heat shrink too. AliExpress, awesome, you're gonna need it if you wanna do projects like this. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so we know we need to go from this USB B port to this USB A port. Um, I'm gonna probably put it in this second one right over here. So instead of being, like I said, the three foot Anaconda, we need the five inch little Willy. To cut, I'm gonna cut it out of both ends. Make sure you leave enough room for yourself to do what you need to do. We'll say that is gonna be close to six inches or so, which is close enough. Get rid of that. You wanna strip back about an inch or so. Get rid of, and this should be shielded underneath here too, so you have to be careful. Yeah, see the shielding. And we have to maintain that as well when we get done. So just pull that back out of the way. And then you'll have this foil wrapper and you'll see your wires right there that need to be spliced out. Anyway, I'll do the other end and I'll show you how to strip those. All right, so we have our stripped ends from the outside shielded part and the outside casing. And if you see right there, it's about a quarter of an inch we want. And that's a really cool tool, all four wires, one time, boom, perfect. We'll do the other one real quick. And then we'll get the, soldering iron heated up there you go all four at one time all right so all the wires have been stripped cleaned sorted out you see you got green red black white and your shield ground cable um anyway flux pen i don't know how bad this stuff is for your skin but i've been doing it for years and i really don't care um i don't recommend it check the msds whatever don't rot your fingers off but this is what i do a nice liberal coating of it do each one. All right, take a look at the soldering iron. Um, it's hot. We wanna pre-tend the wires before you try to solder anything together. And you will see it heat and flow. It's doing one at a time. And as you see the solder get used up on your soldering iron, add more. And these are small wires so it doesn't take much make sure it's nice and neat it doesn't look like a bunch of hobos did it more solder hell to the nom nom and you can see it flow in there you probably see it better than i can typically i'm holding the soldering iron but for this purpose you need to be able to see better than i do all right we'll do the second one and i'll show you how to put it all together okay so all the wires have been pre-tinned per Edward Gerald Herman's instructions from a long time ago. Anyway, um, here's your heat shrink tube. We don't need this excessive amount. We can get four wires. 
out of two pieces of tubing. Anyway, what you want to do is put one of these on each of the wires. As well. What I tend to forget a whole bunch of times, and I do want to have a longer section of this. This is the outside heat tray, not heat trays. Heat shrink tube, thinking about work. And we'll get that on there and make sure that's on there. Nothing worse than getting everything soldered together and forgetting the outside jacket. Take a look at it, that's not very good. Hell to the now. Yeah, that's not too bad there. Maintain good connection. Please don't bolt that soldering iron and catch one on fire. As you see, the flux makes stuff flow. Good connection. What you want to do is avoid too much heat. See that heat tube shrink tube shrunk there a little bit, but it'll be all right because this is very small wire and it's very big. It's the smallest heat shrink tube I had. Green's next. Almost put the red to the green. That would be bad. All right, there's that one, one more. And then we can pull out the cool guy heat gun, which I love so much. It gets tight when you get towards the end here, so just be patient. Oh, that's hot. Okay, there, so all four wires are joined together. We're in the home stretch now. Coming up, uh, we'll pull out the heat, heat gun. All right, so, um, you'll see that I slid the pieces of heat shrink tube over the spliced wire sections. Everything's covered. So now we use our Wagner, what is it called? Studio heat gun. Awesome. Beautiful thing. A whole lot better than a cigarette lighter. And you will see, try to maintain it without moving until it shrinks enough to hold itself in place. Ah, isn't that pretty? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Go around all directions, all areas, all everything else, make it nice and pretty. And that is that. Okay, so now we want to join the, uh, the braided shielded cables on the outside. And I like to solder those because it's the right thing to do. Hold on, we need some more solder. I'm going to sit here and hold it till it melts. All right, we're gonna call that good enough. Cut. All right. Let me get power to this thing and see how it uh, fires up. Okay, everything works. I think we're good to go. Um, it's a much cleaner, nicer looking build rather than having the giant cable everywhere. Um, uh, the goal of this channel, um, like I said, is you know a couple videos a week, so please chat back often, um, at least two, probably three a week as we build this thing. Um, there'll be a, a build-up, write-up, review, A1 Engineering, it's mostly printed CNC machine. You can Google MPCNC, awesome, awesome machine. We'll put a link below in the description, um, but keep checking back. Like I said, first video, maybe not the greatest, but... We'll keep on, keep it on, keep it on. Keep building. This is Gary.